getting down here. I just ate some garden huckleberry, which is known as the native nightshade, so people think that it's toxic. Um, I've been kind of phasing up to eating a little bit more of it, and I... Oh, it's yummy! Uh, but, you know, proceed with caution and do your research, because... Uh, yeah, the Europeans were very confused when they met Garden Huckleberry. And I also think it may have crossbred with some of the ones that really are toxic. So you need to check out some other videos and make sure you know what you're doing before you do that. But, yes, some things that got a reputation of being toxic in the 1800s, mm, they were wrong. Imagine that. I'm trying to see if I can reach it from up here or if I gotta go down there. And as you can see, I brought down hopefully the same size of pots. These are the smallest pots I have available. I want to keep these slots open and filling them with, uh, oh yes, I can reach them quite well down here. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go get the other pot. Uh, it was Formidable Flora who suggested this to use mulch filled pots to fill the gaps so that they don't just collapse and my lack of resources is the hardest part right now I did not bring you down with um <sighs> come here you okay so that rooted through so we may get elderberry coming up alongside now which is great I'm very okay with that so that is one we need three thankfully that pot was the right size here's another one I came back down and labeled them the other day I think this one will be the same good also rooted through so it's got a really healthy root system. So I'm going to put the pot in and then fill it with the wood chips. And you can see this is the pine chips that came most recently. I figure I'm going to use a lot of them on the hillside because the hillside is largely, especially towards the top, it is wood ash. And that's from the Victorian era. That's just something they did. So I think my pH is all kinds of crazy down here. That's awesome. So now those holes won't fill back up before I can plant something in them. I still need to figure out ways to get more and more pots because I don't want to do new plastic. I don't. So. A lot of the ways that you can get free resources, you need a car to do it. And so that's something I'm working on too. <laughs> Mentioned that in a video this morning. It keeps stalling because I'm trying to do this in a way that isn't the usual. Pull this out of here. <clears throat> yep, that one also rooted through so it has excellent root condition and we'll probably have oh this this pot's too big but at least it'll hold the top of the hole open okay we may have to resize that so I've got three elderberries here's a huckleberry that I just this is what I just ate right here but do your research I haven't in a couple years, so I can't really uh, rattle off all the details, but I know that what I have is the right thing. And only if they're fully, fully black are they edible. And they really should just fall off the plant when you touch them, if you wanna be super sure. So. Yeah. Yum, oh, they're so good though. They're way sweeter than goji. Hmm. I did not make good use of today, but I tried. 
So those three got to come up the hill now and I got to get a Saskatoon out and backfill it with, and I'm hoping not pine on that front, um, some different, uh, the other wood chips that aren't pine. And then down here, I want to get almost all that pine coming down this way and probably clear out the corner. Well, the neighbors, they're, the person who purchased it isn't coming until the end of the month. So I have like a week that I could clean out that corner that's been annoying me on their property with, uh, you know, I'm sure they would have been thankful, but it would have been awkward. And I, well, it's not that it would have been awkward and it's not that it would have been difficult. It's just that I saw those neighbors tops three times a year despite their cars being right by mine so my where where my wood chips are and everything i never ever ever saw them unless i like yelled at them so it was just difficult to start the conversation of like hey would you care if i took care of this like brush corner of yours and yeah <sighs> so i'm just gonna do it <laughs> now that now that it won't be impacting them they don't have an opinion i'm i'm guessing ah <laughs> uh, so yeah look at that sunset already all right i need to carry these pots with two hands because these are the type that if you carry them one hand at the side can rip so i'm gonna end the video here carry these up these three elderberries and get a saskatoon um ready and then these openings are going to allow for me to do more cuttings of elderberry. Though I think that's something I'm going to do in a bed. Because, you know, once I have a car, I will have a wide range of availability of free pots. But since I currently don't have a car, uh, I think that getting things ready to go into pots is um, just as well. <laughs> that way when I have the availability of pots, I'll have the, you know, I'll be ready to go. So, hope you're doing well. I love seeing the sky reflect on the river. And I hope that uh, you're having a good weekend. I'm having a sore, tired, sleepy weekend. Oh well, it's okay. And if you're not having a good weekend, um, I'll be thinking of you. Hope you hope good things look up soon. Take care. Thanks for visiting the Cliss side. This has been Permaculture. Bye.